Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 34 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Today, before we depart, we had a request from the old lady from Torankiro Hills. And this is the part we can do right now. And let's make some potions. Yeah, I don't think I have much use for any of the rest of this. I'll make another capture rope because I ran out earlier. I could go with the Garotina. If we take it apart, it gives a lot of crystals. One of the four basic elements. But. I'll skip on that. Now we collected some broken this and that's, which only exists to give us improvement, give us elemental shards. Now, let's take apart our tower chokers in order to improve the Heaven Choker. Hmm. Lightning Elemental Resistance. Take it apart. Alright, first priority the Heaven Joker. Now if we put this on Fia or Mikio, well any of our spellcasters, plus six is a ton of boast. I'm short in particular on ice fragments and holy fragments, so I'm going to try and economize on those. Well... I might undo that one. No. Doesn't matter. This I won't be equipping often, because this one is an improved version of it, but it costs way too much to improve. We need 14 of both earth and fire. Oh man. Although it'd make a pretty good fighter's accessory. Alright, let's improve Mikeyu's robe. Now what to do with these holies? No. Also no. Hmm. For now that'll do for those. Now I can use my holy shards, but I don't want to. Because these items they attach to are basically crap. The Mosteria, maybe once you get it up to level 6, it'll be impressive, but these first two levels just add one to accuracy and dodge. Yes. Yes. 
Tsugida. Oh, yeah, we made that plot item. So, recall the Masteria army is moving in next to the Tranquilo Hills, and we need to make stuff for those guys. This is a crimson carpet. So, it's a really nice carpet, and it's really Masteria ish. Yep, their colors are red and gold, and he's put it together well. Furthermore, the emblems and things that I've already put on it, he thinks the guy doll won't be able to have a lot of craftsmen that can duplicate them well. Well, that sounds nice. And Kistner says she's a little motivated, so she thinks she'll help out a bit, too. Uh, no, we have other plans for you to help out with. Okay, so... She's okay with it if we got all the plans. Ah, oh, that was close. Who knows what would happen if she helped out. So we're thinking in addition to her cooking, she's a... Horror in the crafts room as well. Well. Okay. Since we talked to you last time, we got this scene to see as well. So, we're visiting Eol's hometown today. So this is a certain village within the... The name is Dan Tenko Dansol which is heaven, withering, and gap or crevice. Let's call it the withering canyon or withering fissure. Although I've always just been calling it the Beastman Town because this is where a bunch of Beastman Towns are. So this particular town is pretty small and has few villagers in it. Kind of sad actually. And nothing has changed, apparently. So, a young man of the Beastman tribe comes and greets us. Oh, yeah, so he bought those weapons from us last time and didn't see it all then. But now he recognizes Eol is one of our party. He didn't think Eol would ever return. She's got a lot to say. Okay, let's break up that particular mood. So we brought a bit of food with us. Not a whole lot, but some. Well, he's thankful, but a bit regretful that he can't offer us any hospitality as guests. As it is, there are a lot of monsters about, so before we get hurt, we should probably leave. Well, there's another one person who wants to speak with us. This could be the same woman we saw in an earlier map before Eel joined our party. But anyway, she recognizes Eel, says seeing her is nostalgic. Granny. Oh, 
Well, welcome home. As usual, nothing here, but take your time. So, is this Eol's grandmother? Uh, nope. She is the whole village's granny. The old women in this game talk so slowly. Uh. But she thanks all of us guests for coming to such a lonely place. She is the village chief. Alright, this is Avaro. We're on a journey with Eel. And Fia's here. She's a goddess, so the blessings will come to the village. Here's Mikae with this relation. Alright, so he explains to the village chief that we got gave him some food and also provided the weapons they procured. Okay. Yeah. That's all good. Sounds like we'll be able to survive through again this time. So, now we get to the heart of the matter. Eel's a bit sensitive to this topic. Alright, Eel's gonna say it first. We aren't going to fight. She only came to show her friends the, her hometown. She absolutely won't fight. Yeah, of course, they can't ask that of guests. Even Eel. If that's the case, why did you rely on the, uh, her parents? In the end, they're fighting now, so why did they leave everything on them back then? Kind of odd for Eel to bring this up on her own. But anyway. The old lady says, yeah, Eel's right. Back then, the village only relied on those two. And that's the truth. There's no point in denying it. So, to change the subject, she asks Eel if she has found somebody important enough to give anything for. She has to say yes. So she smiles. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> Fighting to protect somebody you find him somebody you feel is important and finding a place where you can do it is very important. <laughs> <laughs> 
あの子たちが守った場所は住んでいるわしらが責任を持ってなんとかする居場所を見つけた夜の手を煩わせることはない So Eel's parents died protecting the village and the villagers that remain will take responsibility for the loss Since Eel's found her own place in the world we can't they won't rather they won't just try and push on anything on her she thanks us for the food and says also that we should probably be going Staying here, you will probably only remember b unpleasant memories. Yep. And she won't come again. Eel at this point is a bit ashamed of attacking the chief like that. So she's not making eye contact anymore. But if I was thinking to himself, something doesn't make sense. In the end, the village chief was more concerned about Eel having a place in the world than getting help. So why would that have changed from before? And he's going to speculate right out here about the relationship between the village and the Eel's parents. So, Avaros conclusion from here is that Eel's parents took on the duty of fighting monsters of their own accord. Captain? Captain? So, in order to protect the village, they left Eel behind and refused the cooperation of the rest of the village and chose to fight the monsters by themselves. Is that right? Bingo, have I was right. The two of them were kind souls. Now the old lady didn't just come out and say this because it would sound like she was making excuses for their choices back then. Making excuses and on, on another level asking for Eel's forgiveness. Which she's really guilty about it so she doesn't want to come and ask forgiveness. So what's this mean? Well, Eel's parents were good at fighting. And allowing cooperation from the others would have good and bad points to it. By adding people you get more attack power momentarily. But on the other hand, the injuries will increase. Yeah, that's right. Since the two of them were the best fighters in the village, they wanted to reduce the injuries as much as possible so they kept everyone out of it. You know, that's such an oversimplification of the logistics of fighting. But anyway. So, not only were they protecting the fight of the village, they wanted to protect the whole village which includes their lifestyle and which includes preserving their lifestyle if they sent too many people out especially during the breeding season of these monsters the injuries would be quite heavy 
And with too many casualties, that would have its own effect on the village. If the only people able to work were the children and the elderly, that would pretty well spell, spe, pretty well spell the end of the village as well. So that means the two of them loved the village. So it wasn't that these fights were pushed upon them by the village. It's that they wanted to protect it. Yeah, the other guy was trying to butt in while the village chief was talking. And he knew this. But the village chief didn't want him to say it for basically the same reason. Anyway, he's saying, who the hell would try and push this kind of duty on someone just for our own convenience? And he curses himself for being too weak to fight without getting injured back then. Well, it can't be helped. Those two were on a different level and they simply couldn't do anything but run and hide. He says the way they keep running now, even now the village is dwindling. Do you know that the old lady hasn't mentioned the weapons at all? It seems that he is trying to organize this counter effort, counter effort all by his own. And I guess anybody who agrees with him. He's got it. the desperate idea in his head that he wants to settle things for once and for all as well. So are they really that tough, these monsters? Ah, yeah, they're strong. After all, they're frickin' huge. So, this particular type of monster is the Moon Hiders. A type of giant. Big enough to eclipse the moon, I suppose. And this village is having problems with their territorial nature. Giants, huh? So, there isn't much to be eaten around here, and they are competing with food, with the monsters for the food supply. And when it comes down to a fight over food, these guys don't win. And then there's that periodic breeding season or whatever, where their numbers increase and they get even more violent. So those monsters, when they're hungry, get pretty indiscriminate about what they put in their mouths. If they lose all their foods, they'll even go so far as to eat the beastmen. Oh man, that's pretty horrible. So, those are the kind of 
monsters that Eel's parents were fighting. Yep. That's a pretty noble pair of people. Really. So, of our pets, Eel on the head and says you had some wonderful parents. Mm hmm. All right. She has got an objection, though. But it's not like the two of them could continue protecting the village forever, right? So. Why weren't they taking steps to strengthen the other people in the village? And anyway, if they were able to provide some support, that would be better anyway. So, yeah, it seems the two of them had a plan. And before the fight, they said this will be the last time. They wouldn't say why, but they said leave it to us and smiled as they left. Really? Did they plan on defeating all of the monsters? All the monsters in the entire Withered Valley? Withered Fissure? No. In order to do that anything effective, they'd have to find the monster's nest. So, Avar says, so did they figure out where the monster's residence nest was? If they did, they might have gone there to try and wrap things up and put an end to it. That makes sense. Well, this guy apparently just didn't think about it because he's had this information for, I don't know, years? How long ago did he leave? Everybody's had this information except for Avaro. Avaro gets his hands on it and he's figured it out in what? Five minutes? I'm surrounded by idiots. Okay, Avaro. So, did they tell you where it is? No, they refused to tell her. They said, if they knew it, then there would be more people pursuing the challenge and coming with them. So, to the very end, they just refused all help. Oh, wait. This also means that she actually knew the whole story. But anyway. In the end, the two of them ended up failing, and the situation is now as we see. The Beastmen spend most of their time hiding and occasionally getting eaten. Oh, man. That's bad. Hey, yo, what you got to say? Oh, uh, that's hero music. All right, wait up, Eel. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? She remembers what they said last. So, it's in that place. There is the monster's nest. <laughs> in Eel's eyes, there's... A stronger fighting spirit and floating than Avaro has observed up to this point. 
Oh man, she is into it. He was gonna avenge them. Isn't that nice? So, what do you think you're doing trying to run off by yourself? So, if Eo does the same thing her parents did, she might end up dead like they did. Alright, but she's strong. And she won't be defeated by the monsters. Logic. Ah, Mika says that's probably what her parents thought too. They too thought they would absolutely win and protect the village, but even though they thought that, in the on the way they didn't make it. So this time, Eo's gonna. Come on, why are you trying to do this by yourself? Because this is her village's problem. You're not one of the villagers here anymore. You left. Aw, oh, sad eel. Isn't she cute? Since Eel's a villager now and she can help, the rest of us who are also outsiders can help too. Alright, she is done with this plan. Like anybody thought she wouldn't be. So, Fia's in, Mikeu's in. Yeah, Mikeu's been studying magic in order to help EL out as well. So, Mikeu, that is. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Avaro doesn't like Eo trying to sneak up and handle things by herself. After all, she does have us to rely on, too. Yeah, we're all family now. So, don't try to hold back from us. We get experience, too. Oh, wait. Alright. So... Let's follow up on Eo's parents' regretful death then handle these monsters. Gee, thanks everyone. Alright. So. Eo's re realizing that she's not alone anymore and she's got a family she can rely on. So the old lady looks on us with those kind old eyes. Will you go? Yep, we're going. Seems like the old lady won't be able to stop us even if she wanted to. They're so much alike, Eo and her parents. Their eyes are the same. They're kind. And they're strong. He apologizes for him. Pushing the duty of Protecting the village upon her again. 
村のみんな戦闘が得意なリオたちに任せて All right, Granny, everyone. We're good at fighting, so leave it to us. Yep, they're counting on us. And they're sorry they can't fight too. Alright, it's alright. This is Eel's job. Alright, so they're really regretful and they're counting on you. Yeah, we'll absolutely come back alive. Alright, so we're gonna go off to the Moonhiders base. And now the map opens up. In the previous cutscene, it said that it opened the map. No, the last cutscene of the previous video, it said it opened up, but this is actually the point where it does. So actually, that's a level 20 map, and I'm going to try and do them in some kind of order. And that means I look through here. This is actually the lowest level new map I have. And apparently this is a map that you don't even need Mikeo or Eol in order to get to. Hmm. Although they contribute a lot to the conversation, they aren't required to deploy. Well, that happens too. So we're looking at a unusually large island inside of a lake. It seems to be made entirely of ice and there's a fracture down the middle. So basically it describes the scenery for a moment. <laughs> well, she is impressed by the scenery. She says even her snowmen I like how it looks. So this mountain is like a mountain, but it seems to be made entirely out of ice, even though it's so big. Yeah. Yeah, it really is impressive. So, there actually happens to be some kind of conflict going on right now. There are some enemies fighting. Well, there are some ice spirits that are fighting, and there are also some others that are fighting against them. Water spirits. There aren't very many water spirits remaining, but this is one of them. And we remember him. Of our recalls, this is Rurin Yuiki. Yep, and he's protecting water spirits again. Yeah, he's pretty well surrounded. Navarro wants to actually help him out. But he didn't like us very much before. However, Fia's not going to hesitate and decides to march up there and have a talk with him. Naturally, that's Fia. Alright, here's her offer. Rude and Yuki. This is the goddess Fia. We're going to help you now. Alright, so... He says that we're foolishly trying to fool him again. And tells us that no matter how many times we tried, he will not be taken. So, he's completely 
gotten our intentions wrong. For one thing, saying that we're here to cut connections when in fact she's the goddess of making them. So, she wants to get along with all of us and came here to save him and the water spirits. So, he says that the ones who incited these spirits into this fight were none other than us guys. She wouldn't do that. So, no objections. If we've come this far, far, he's going to see us as enemies and exterminate us with all his power. Hey, aren't you fighting someone else right now? Aww. Poor girl. You're so bad at this. Well, you did well, probably. The reason he's going hostile like this is due to the effects of something or other. We speculated. Oh, right, we've got another one. Ranin chan. Ugh, slap a bitch! First thing out of her mouth is, what's in it for me? Hmm, okay. We'll give you just once. The rights to... Hold of our clothes. So, the payment is me, huh? Don't need it. Alright, so We can't give her anything, but we really want to ask her to talk to Rudin and the water spirits for us It's always like this that really pissed me off because it shows she's actually a good person and she's just being a bitch for the sake of being a bitch. Anyway, she says it can't be helped and she runs off to do it. Alright, you dipshit, you can't you even tell your enemies. She says. His sour look looks familiar. And she thinks she's the two of them have met somewhere before. I don't know any rude asses like you. This is going well. Yeah, she's sure that we met that they've met before. Sometime earlier they had a fight with a god. And he said that he would protect the water the water flows because it was a god because it was a task given to him by his lord. And also, he is a hard-headed little ass. Well, he can't say anything to that. After all, he is the hard-headed guy. And there's the mission from his lord and such and such. Anyway. The water spirits he's protecting now have gotten pretty weak. Does he really think he can continue to protect him by himself? Why don't you let these people help? 
敵の力など借りる必要はない Alright, he will protect them and he won't borrow the power of an enemy. Hard headed. So, do you really think you can fulfill your master's orders like that? Alright, scram. Even if you're Yuriki as well, if you continue to ridicule like him, he'll see you as an enemy as well. Alright, she's back. How'd it go? She made him angry. How odd. Yeah, Avaro's kicking himself for actually expecting her to be useful. Wait, did she actually piss him off on purpose? How troublesome. Alright, sounds like talking to him isn't going to work. Again. Now the thought it wanders on into Fia's empty head. That this misunderstanding may be caused by Runin mistaking Fia for somebody else. Yeah. That's pretty much the size of what we understand here. Even that first time they accused us of being accused her of being a god that was out to ruin stuff. Alright. Here's the plan. We're going to help him whether he likes it or not. Yes, of course. Let's do it. This is an interesting map. So, first, our objective is to rescue routing Rurin Yuki. And the beginning part has a failure condition that if Rurin or either of his water spirits fall in battle, we lose. It's a little bit troublesome because these water spirits are weak against earth spirits such as these three. At least they're earth magic. And the earth spirits aren't going to, you know, fight us if... Shut up. The earth spirits aren't going to fight us if we're closer. They'll just make a beeline for these guys. And their magic earth attack happens to take more than half, well... Gonna kick you in the balls, I swear. They're going to make a beeline for the water spirits. And these weak water spirits take two hits from those guys. In my trial runs, I lost this map twice. On turn three. These get two movement, so one turn, two turns, and then they kill it. The lightning beasts are less dangerous to them, but if you let the earth spirits get there, they're going to screw everything up. Fortunately, I figured out a way to get this. Oops. That was definitely a mistake. Hmm. I didn't want to deploy him, but I need someone here so that I can move Mikio up there. Yeah, what I should have done was summon Karin instead of Mikio first. Now, Eel. Do you remember that combo attack Eel and Mikio have? If Mikio is standing right next to him, we can launch that. And since it's lightning elemental, it does tons of damage to this earth elemental. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Speaking of lightning elementals... 
She has a really powerful lightning attack as well, which we can deploy next turn. And now I've completely filled my command gauge. But we're happy like this. Convenient after a fashion. But first priority. Let's move Mikeu up as far as possible. So we can kill this guy. The remainder of my guys can handle this guy before he gets many further, I think. Hey, critical hit. Alright, now for the most part everything is secure. I don't need you right now, Karin. But, everybody pull forward. Even when the lightning beasts actually attack the water spirits, they don't do too much damage because the water spirits will just defend. Well, Rurin is a spirit as well, isn't he? So, once we get up to that guy, we can finish him off and... Move on to the next portion of this map. Alright, I'm done with you. Besides, you're ugly. You know, if I... If I had the time, I would have taken the time to capture those elementals but again we're on a really tight timeline here no hmm this bugger might attack Mikado next turn But probably we'll concentrate on the water spirits in a completely dickish attempt to get me a game over. Hmm. Wait, we can actually attack these guys? Well, there's no point. There's no point. These guys are our allies. Mm-hmm. This should cover us. Alright, we've defeated all the enemies. Let's see if these guys will be of our friend this time. So, why did you save us? Is this part of your plan? You hard-headed pizza. Give us a break! That wasn't our plan from the start, you... Oh, hey! The spirits are attacking Fia. Uh, for a given definition of attack. Okay, okay, calm down, you guys. We are glad you're thankful for our help, but we're talking right now, so... Let's do the hugging and stuff later.
我の感覚では間違いなく敵であるという So, why would the spirits be so unwary with us? After all, according to his assessment, we are certainly the enemy.、Uh, isn't your assessment wrong? Well, His assessment is coming from an order from his master. So he's not, Avaro is not just calling Rurin's assessment into question, but also his master's. Uh, well, that's not what he meant to be saying, but. So he continues to glare at us. And comes to a conclusion. Alright, it can't be helped. So he has to figure out for himself. On guard! Was anybody surprised by this? Alright, let's fight him. Now we have to defeat him. How nice. But at least we don't have to worry about random people game ombering us for reasons beyond our control. And truth be told, if you defeat, once you defeat Grudin, the map is over. And we've got a bunch more map to explore. If you really want to stop ruining fast, just send Karin against him. Yeah, even best case scenario, he can't do very much damage. Although this would be almost half of his life. So perhaps I'll pick someone else to do the tanking. Anyway, the priority for now is for these guys to hold the fort. Mostly just Cotton and Fia. Well, everybody else I can forge, everyone else I can deploy, goes and explores the rest of the map. Bitch. Okay. I have 14 more. As much as I hate Deet. Oh, perfect. Once Deet fixes this up, we'll have more command points and I can bring Deet back and deploy Kisneeder instead. She costs more command points than he does. Naturally, he's gonna concentrate on her. Uh, did you kind of not realize that she is. Super good at magic defense. Hmm. Oh, yes, I need to have miners come by and check every single square. Because one of our bonuses is getting all the mining points, and there are three of them to find somewhere. Ah, remove skill. Okay. 
Okay, good job, Ronin. You can move ahead. Good job, Deet. You can go to hell. Can't help but think I might be able to pull Kaurin back if he's only going to concentrate on Fia. Well, free experience. Kaurin can't kill him, so may as well have him shoot back. You know, if he isn't going to do physical attacks, maybe... You know, this drives me up a wall. This should cost him 3 SP every turn, but he's still full. This is because most of your enemies have some regeneration to their SP, although they don't tell you how much. I mean, I don't have... I don't object to them having that kind of thing, but just giving it to them and not telling us how much is kind of a dick move. Oh, time to start defending. Wait, he's actually using a more powerful attack this time. For all the good it does him. Ooh, it must have been this one. So he regains 3 SP per turn. Meaning when the turns that we have left it is literally impossible for him to run out of SP. <clears throat> is there nothing in here but this one Demi boss? It doesn't have the boss symbol, that means I can capture it. Hmm. A violent ice maiden. Sounds good. Three stars. Alright. Yes, Ixe. Oh, I see. It's not that he had a particularly powerful oh attack that God. other time. It's that this one is a physical attack, which uses Fia's physical defense, where this one's a magic de attack. And she is all about magic defense. Ha, mining. Hmm. So, once I get in here, I want to try and capture this gear. You know, looking at her stats again, or for the first time actually, I'm not going to capture her. I think Karin could get a, could land a hit that actually dealt more than one damage a, in a round. But nobody else could, I'll tell you that. Level 45, I should pay attention to these things. Yeah, this is crazy insane. 
Even thinking about going in that direction is a bad idea from the get-go. So I'm kind of boned. Alright, I'll get to heal her after this one. How nice. Well, I want to explore the map a little more. Uh oh. Yeah. What's up with this spirit? She seems pretty powerful. She is without a doubt quite dangerous. But we might be able to get something. Okay, pro tip. Don't touch her. Hmm, well, nothing to see here. Perhaps I should have deployed Karin as well. Too late now. What? No, stay back. I've got a bow and I'm not afraid to use it. Ice shards. There's a good boy. Alright, Avaro, you need to find the last mining point and fix those two statues, and then we're out of here. Look, if you keep chasing me, I'm going to deploy Karin in the interim here. Ah, there's the last mining point. Now, why am I walking her back? Hmm. Ooh. I was afraid of that. He has a skill that activated there. Piercing, which halves our defense. So he got an extra five at damage in on that one. Alright, Avar fixes this. And Fia? Murder this dipshit. Oh, he's gonna counter with the bad one. You know what? May as well. Capture skill. Yeah, we know you don't have much in the way of attack power.
But hell, maybe it'll distract. No, it won't. Anyway, if he has counter, we'll do this guy in. Booyah! <laughs> okay, sorry, but this is also petting you. Remember when we made that rod? Okay, so he gets it now. He was mistaken after all. Alright, sounds good. So we smacked him down enough, he takes an Eve, and now he's rising up, approaching Fiha and looking straight at her. So, her presence. There's no mistaking it. She is his la uh, She is his master. And she has finally returned. What? Your master? You talking to her? Yeah, she's he's looking right at you as saying this. Alright, so the energy that she gives off. There's no way it can be mistaken. It's nostalgic and lovely and okay, great. Alright, everybody's happy. So, he apparently knows she's been sleeping for a long time and that crap has gone down while she took her little nap. So, he's glad to be saved from whatever circumstances brought him to that point. And realizes that if she hadn't saved him just now, he would have exhausted the last of his spirit. So, in addition to being saved by her, he also opposed her. He's done a good many performed a good many rudenesses upon his master. Yeah, now you're making her flustered. Alright, so if we can forgive him, he would once again like to fight by her side. Alright, she accepts. Understood, my master. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Great, great. Now that you've returned to your senses, it's good and all. And we get to talk to you about what you happen to know. And now he addresses Havaro and tells him to stay away from Fia. Huh? What the hell? So, he's trying to butt himself between Fia and Avaro. And now we try to explain to him what's going on. He's her apostle, for one. But he continues to stare at Avaro. So, he would like to warn Fia against getting too close to this guy. Hey, what the hell? Okay, 
Okay, calm down. Avaro is Fia's lover. And she wants to make out with him more and flirt with him more. You're telling him to calm down? You're more out of sorts by this than he is. Alright, so... Rune's gonna be a pal and keep a watch on Navarro. As long as he's around, Avaro's whatever won't go the way he likes. What the hell? I mean, seriously. We're getting all these Yuki and they're obviously connected to Via and we're not getting any backstory out of them. It's like a conspiracy. Alright, so he joins our party. And yeah, I'm not going to defeat the Violent Ice Prince, or Maiden, as much as I would like to. Fortunately, it's <laughs> one of those... Fortunately, it's one of those enemies that won't come out and kill you just because you happen to be in on the same map. New thing, Bluestone. Moon gazing grass. Whatever that's supposed to be. Even more crystals. Makes me feel stupid for that time I went to that map seven times. Oh. I could have gotten this unmelting ice shard if I had run my gap mining skill up to three dots. Three stars. Ah well, perhaps next time. We're going to cut out for today, but we should always try and get the Huey Keys capture skills, since the rooting is likely to be useful to us later. And now I really get to get, have to get capturing because I've got all kinds of uses for captured enemies. And he's got a good number that he can take from one stars. Yeah. Drowning had many more that... Only just a couple actually. These ones here that require three stars right out the gate. But most of them are one and a few twos. In any case, we need to capture a lot of enemies. Hey, water spirit necklace. Sure, why not? And that's all the new crap I can make, make for now. Yes. Yes. All right, that will wrap us up for this time, YouTube. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.